Valentine's Day tomorrow and um, we went, um, we're out this morning and um, Jack wanted to get a Valentine's card for Charlotte so I tried to sneakily film him in the shot which is a stupid idea so he got wind of it. So he confiscated the camera, <laughs> I didn't hardly film anything um, and then he subsequently deleted the videos that I had on there. <laughs> there was two video clips on him and he deleted both of them a little bugger. Um, but anyhow, he got her a card and he got her a, a frog, which I helped, helped sort of had a bit of input in, said choose that. And it's quite cool. It's a little cute, well, cute frog stuffed, about that big. And it's got a big stuffed heart on the front and it says, you make my heart hop. <laughs> <coughs> so it's quite funny. But uh, little does he know, I have a software programme and I've managed to recover the files <laughs> quite easily. So... This is what you're about to see now, and then we'll be on to the next thing. Take a look, it's only sure. <laughs> Come on, lad, let's do it. So, Charlotte, no, they've just gone off. Charlotte and Jack have just gone off. They've gone into town. Turns out they bought each other exactly the same thing. So that's what Jack bought for her. <laughs> but then in this bag. Uh, so yeah, Jack bought that. Yeah, but Jack's... That's what she's given to him. No, that's what he's given to her. Right. Put that back on the bed. So he's not given that to her yet. Yeah, it has. Oh, right, yeah, okay. Oh, just that's, been doing it. Oh, this is a bag for him. Oh, right. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> She's bought him chocolates as well. Ooh. And the car He's there. supposed to buy milk tray. That's yeah. a guy's thing to buy. Yeah. And look, she's bought him that card. And he bought her a very similar one. That's gone. She must have taken that one. She must have put that one in the bag. But, yeah. It's funny, isn't it? It's funny they bought the same thing. <laughs> it's alright, yeah. What's she choosing? There's been plenty of Valentine's today. There's been plenty. How much is this one then? That's alright. Yeah, that's alright. Shall we get two of those then? Alright. So the reason we're choosing this, just got the wine, today is Valentine's um, day as you know. Um, I'm going to do a meal later, I'm going to do meatloaf. <laughs> don't laugh, don't laugh. Go on then, wife. So I'm getting all the ingredients. And we'll see how it goes. Essential ingredient. Marvellous. That's the uh, breadcrumbs. I'll show you the rest in one moment. Adding that out with the three ounces worth of breadcrumbs. It's got to be 75 kilograms, so we've worked out on the internet about that. So, brilliant bit of kit that. We have this as a wedding present. Not really used it much, but get me on the job. I'm like, ah, oh. the other thing that's really good is this dicer and slicer. That good stuff, very quick as well. Just recorded this once, I wasn't recording. So we've got chopped onions, celery, one green pepper, oil, essential ingredient, garlic. Don't think yeah, it is three crows of garlic, it isn't that. Breadcrumbs, uh, a lightly beaten egg, chopped onion. Sea salt, pepper, and uh, barbecue sauce. You, it's set really for tomato sauce, but I think I'm going to use, but some people use barbecue. But I don't know actually, I might go for tomato at the last minute. I've got tomato anyway, so I want the mince. 
and I think that's it. Smells nice. Good. It's about done. Let's go have a look at it, Bean. It's about cooked now. It's alright, isn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's hilarious, that is, isn't it? I'll leave it to stand for. 10 minutes and then we serve, I've got to do the potatoes first, mashed potatoes. Jack's now at home with Charlotte, they've been to the cinema for this afternoon and to see the Muppets movie for Valentine's, so this is going to be for four of us just as well because the, the recipe was for eight and we've scaled it down to a quantity of four, so I've chopped everything down to half, apart from the garlic. Oh, that's greased up nice. the um, tin and uh, I couldn't remember how you put how do you put the grease on the side of the tin I don't remember grease proof paper you use that and spread it use that to spread the grease or butter or fat or whatever you done and that comes back <laughs> right to when you mom showed me when I was very small as I remember and it just came to me like that it's funny isn't it <laughs> always learn from the best Right, we'll give it a go. Bean didn't want much potato, that's why she's only had a dollop. We should have a taste of it. Let's see what my mashed potatoes are like. Oh. Mm. It's nice. <laughs> Strangely enough, it's quite nice. It goes down nice a glass of red wine. Well, I the oven it smelled really garlicky. Mm. And it's moist as well, to get the moisture in. Mm. <laughs> Any feedback? No. No. Two empty plates, Jack and Charlotte. <laughs> Couldn't have been that bad, could it? <laughs> <coughs> camera arrived after a day. A day. That quick. Good day for trying it today actually because you know the weather's dull. Yeah. No, no overexposure. Although you can set the white down. Dear customer so thing. I just move these things automatically. Dear customer. Thank you very much for your purchase from us. We greatly appreciate your business. We hope you will enjoy your new purchase. If you, if so, please kindly leave us a positive feedback on eBay. We, we will also greatly appreciate if you leave us five stars on all DSLRs. Um, that rhymed. Um, yeah. Including item description, communication, shipping time and shipping charge. We will gladly do the same for you. If you have any issues or concerns about the product, again, thank you so much for your business. We look forward to doing more business with you in the near future. Best regards. That's a funny name. Who's best regards? Oh, look, it's a box. It's a box. Now, which way? It's because this is. I wonder if this is the US one. This is 
says Princeton on the, in the U.S. Okay. Right. DVDs. Yeah. A lot of program software then. A big manual. So well, one's through. for Mac and one's for Windows. And this is just the manual for it. It's been sitting there for a while. <laughs> yeah, phone rubber. And that's the lens, lens yeah. Leads and my camera strap and charger. Mm. It's got another protective bag. Excellent. Oh, yeah, and this sensor here is for when you can look through the LCD screen. But then, when you go to look through that, it will then switch off because the sensor. There. Ah, right, knows that your cheeks up against the screen. Or close. And how much does this retail at normally? Probably. Get it on Amazon and places for like 430, I think it was. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, I, th I think they reduced it to about 440, but some places it's 500. Now, how much do you get it for? So, we got it off a shop on eBay. There was 10 of them on there. There was 10 of them on there. Um, we bought it one evening by the next morning. By lunchtime, they'd all gone. How much were they at? Uh, three hundred and ninety-five pounds. With deliver, actually no, it was less than that. No, it came through with the postage. It was about three seventy. So, all I, in all, I said fifty-nine pounds. So yeah. It's, so it with, was, with the postage, it was three seventy. Yeah. yeah, with the postage, it was three seventy. So a big saving. No wonder they all went. And I just love that idea. That could entertain me for hours. Run out of battery? I think so. Yeah, there we go. It's probably going to go off any second then. 18, 18 megapixel. If it's for stills. We're using it for video, it is, but 18 megapixel for stills. Yeah, that's right. Just, I think that was it running out of battery. Oh, right. Mine's bigger than yours. It's a bit good looking back at this. I guess it's like some way. Ugh. Rainy Saturday morning. So I've just dropped uh, Jack off at Croatia and going back now. I thought I'd dip out and get the turnovers that we normally have for lunch. Bacon and cheese turnover sausage rolls, because last time they'd run out, you know. Um, so, because uh, I need, I can't be, I can't afford to go and find them somewhere else. I don't know, it sounds dumb. Last time I had to go to a, the uh, Second Chance Saloon. I had to find another shop that had a couple in, so we could have them for lunch together. 
Um, obviously that takes a lot more. I've got to be out this afternoon on a bit of a trip. I'm going on a bit of a trip, I'll, I'll tell you more about that later. Um, so, I need to be a bit more on time. So, um, it was a good move. It was about half an hour earlier than normal in there. Well, actually three quarters of an hour. They had stop press news update. They had did, 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 two turnovers left. Two full sausage rolls. So, two of each. Jobs P. Gooden. Um, but if they'd gone later, they wouldn't have been there. So, so they're on board. And um, the job has been done. So I'm going back to Karate now, and then we can go straight home from there. Oh, look at that. Look at what this sign says. Well, it's a bit what's it? It says, surface water, slow down. Can you believe it? Mondana's just passed me, no lights on. Why would you not have your light? Look at it, man. It's... I think it's shall I put my fog light on. It's that, you get this weather now and again in February, it's just what I call deluge weather. It's a busy old afternoon and the wet one on the M1 on a Saturday afternoon, so it's some time later from before. Um, M1, um, I'm off to, so this afternoon what I said I was going to be doing, um, on my own, no one here, um, off to Northampton, um, because there's something we're going to come on, just to think, there's, they're doing auditions for a film called Les, Les Mis, you know the show that Jack went to see, they're going to, there's going to be a, a movie that's going to be out, and they need people, extras, Extras uh, between 19 and 90 or something to play different parts as an extra soldiers and stuff like that. So I'm going along to have a look. Um, if it's a go, you can get up to 10 days paid, 50 quid a day for doing it, potentially. Um, but mainly it's something else as well who So I'll go along anyway, just see what it's all about. So uh, that's where I'm on. So quite exciting. A bit of change. In actual fact, to tell you what it's like, seasonal weather. Do you remember when we went Segway in last year? The first time we went, it was cancelled, and it was this kind of weather. Quick look. It's a lovely day. Let's go karting here, but we don't know where we've got to go. Time of year, really, because of that. Actually, I think it's probably the same. So, I've got the sat nav in the pocket, and I've just walked round Northampton Centre in a circle. <laughs> I think where I'm coming up to now is the car park I left. There on the left. <sighs> Still keeps me fit. Sat now, I've just come up with an option, walking route. So it knows I'm walking now, so it should make it a bit easier, in theory. I'm a stone's throw from where I need to be, literally. I just not easy to get to by car, especially not in rush hour. That's where I left the car. About ten minutes ago before I went all the way around through the shopping centre out the other end and back round again. <laughs> Been down here in the car. Are we there yet? 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 No! You're kidding me. Casting clothes due to high turnout. Sorry. So I think the reason the sat now was having a work, I was so close to it. But, uh, I did look at the place on Google Maps, which is just as well, so I knew what it looked like. But notice they're saying huge turnout this morning or today, so casting's closed. So 
wastage. <laughs> Wish I'd known. So annoying. Subways. Bad things, bad things. Ah, at least the sun's shining. <laughs> home, James, home! Don't spare the horses. Camera out, so this is those houses. And this is a turn right, where you came down, where they were still building about a year ago. This is where you turn right. Here's a shot up. Mm -hmm. See back up there. This is where they're really starting to finish off, I think. Well, it's a bit finished. I bet some people moved in around here already. There you go, quick look. Yeah, it's not bad gardens. Oh, yeah, ready to move in. Floor, there's floor, oh, there's carpet through there, unless they're carpeted already, I don't know. There are loads of trees there at the end, then, aren't they? Supposed to be doing a buffer zone, you see, between these we're getting a buffer zone, and my mum said it wouldn't be what it was, but they must be trees they're putting in, wasn't they? Oh, uh, right, between the two. Mm. But like mum said, they're in these gardens, so technically we could take them out, couldn't we? Yeah. The thing that doesn't amaze me is the size of the garage, it's just so much wider. I don't know why, they never used to be. Now this is bigger than that, so there's not much floor space, and you look at the floor. There's nothing there, I mean that's front to back, it's going to be a wall in the middle. No, that's going to be a, lo a lounge, a kitchen diner, and they've put a downstairs toilet in that as well. And the stairs, have got to go in it. Yeah. Yeah, it's not very big, is it? No. 